Avast, ye landlubbers, tis I, Corazon de Baena, a.k.a. Captain Killmost, a.k.a. Lil Steely, a.k.a. Hellacious Sea, a.k.a. the Irate Pirate, <laughs> a.k.a. the Deep Blue Sea, a.k.a. Captain Jack's Swago. No one interrupt. A.k.a. No one <laughs> highway to the Corazon. I want to see where this is going. <laughs> How many more have you got? Uh, there's like six or seven pages. pages. I'm Egbert, <laughs> the Dragonborn Paladin. Yay! Yay. All right, fine. Keep, keep going. <laughs> I'm Prudence, the Tiefling Warlock. Welcome. Hello, I am Merylwen, the Wood Elf Druid. I'm Dob, the Half Orc Bard. Hello. Ooh. And I'm literally everyone else in the world. Hooray! Hooray! Right. None of you got none of you got fire AKAs like me. Uh, <laughs> Little steely. Little we steely. should make fire AKAs for each other, like uh, Prudence. Yes. AKA. Yes. Um, make it a good one. Twi twi twisty feathers, much. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking Ooh. at the twisty horns and the feather shoulder. Well, right. we'll put it on the maybe part. <laughs> okay. Gwendolyn Snetterton. Um, <laughs> I would say that literally everyone else in the world is a pretty fire alias. It's certainly yeah. not my birth name. Yeah, mm. so. it's no twisty feathers much. <laughs> no, yeah. Twisty feathers much? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to make twisty feathers much a thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm writing it down. What are we going to do with all these twisty feathers, feathers <laughs> much? I've got a thousand <laughs> twisty feathers much t shirts. <laughs> Shall we embark on an adventure? Why not? Yes. Yes. Why not? Yes. Great. Um, we begin at anchor in the sea um, on the joyful damnation. Um, you have all decided to take some time off because things got quite heavy last time. What with you know confronting a, a man about you know making a hat out of your childhood oh, friend. Oh, it was a dead cow, wasn't there? Mm. Oh yeah, and, uh, yeah. That? One of you got cursed. Um, but so, excellent toboggan ride. So yeah. it swings and roundabouts. Worth the curse. I think so. So everyone's just hanging out on, on, on the deck, really. I'd, like, it's up to you how you're how you're spending your leisure time. Are you sunbathing? Are you what? What's going just on? Yeah, the, of course you are. On. I'm throwing up over the side. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, mm. you're seasick. Oh, you got no sea legs. No, oh. I lost. You got dragon legs. <laughs> uh, I'm dragon stood legs. behind Egbert, repeatedly casting prestidigitation <laughs> as he vomits, so that just as it comes into the back of his throat, I flavour it like strawberry milkshake. Oh, oh. much better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about that. Where are these seagulls from? <laughs> oh, I wish I hadn't looked at that. It uh -huh. obviously means I have to have my hand down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? I think so. Oh, no. I'm starting to suspect that it's not the sea that's making you vomit. Oh, no. Job's elbow deep. I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> and yet. I look and up yes. from my deck chair at what's going on, realise it's the usual bull. <laughs> and then go back to sunbathing. I'm in the crow's nest, being quietly disappointed that there aren't any actual crows in there. Oh, There weren't last time. What have you done with them? <laughs> there were like six crows up there. They were mine! <laughs> Damn it. I can't have anything nice. Maybe it was the skeletons. Mm. Yeah, it probably was. I'm studying my tomes of eldritch lore and watching for tentacles. I'm Excellent. Watch for tentacles. And funnily enough, you, you do spot a very large Ooh. shape moving in the water. Um, and up in the crow's nest, sort of brought to you on the wind, you hear a... <gasps> Is it just me retching again? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Better out there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, Corazon, make me a dex saving throw. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Straight into it. Let's go. Jeez. Life comes at you fast, Corazon. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Uh, it's 19. Yeah, 19 will do it. You aren't cast out of your deck chair. You manage to sort of like, you know, cat-like reflexes Duh. and everything. Whoa. Um, keep your, like, you know, stay on, on the deck chair. As do I spill the... any of my rum cocktail? <laughs> no. Cool. Um, not on a 19, blimey. Mm -hmm. Basically, the, the whole deck pitches down. Yeah. Um, and oh, the, yeah. the ship is sort of being pressed into the water as basically a humpback whale has beached itself onto the ship and it's just kind of looking up at you all like, <laughs> Merylwen, is this something to do with you? Friend is this a friend of yours? of yours? Well, maybe this was the guy that helped us last time? Remember the whale? Perhaps. Yeah, he put a big hole in my boat. Yeah. Had to spend ages fixing it. Okay, I immediately um, cast him to speak with animals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, uh -huh. yep. are you okay, whale? Have you... <laughs> something in his mouth. <laughs> okay. And the whale just... <laughs> 
Oh! <laughs> Princess <laughs> Ambergris! <laughs> nothing gets Ambergris out! I start scooping it up. It's, it's a humpback whale, it does not produce Ambergris. I start scooping it up. <laughs> okay, um, you... What am I, a whale biologist? You start <laughs> digging through a pile of muck, uh, and then the muck starts moving. Oh. And Very then, precious um, Ambergris. <laughs> the muck stands up and sort of dusts himself off. Is and it looks your daddy? You and goes, ah, Percy, how's it going? Oh, oh granddad! It's, no, it's panniers. Oh, panniers. Panniers! <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of luck on the Easy mistake to make. Oh, I thought you were my grandfather. Wait, does this remind us? Corazon. Panniers? Yeah. It's that a hole captain who took over oh. after I was oh. deposed as captain oh. for reasons that is definitely weren't my fault. Yeah, they're all cursed. How long has it been since we last met these guys? I mean, I've been in a whale this whole time, and even now, you know, it's nearly two years. Yeah, it sounds about <laughs> right. scratching the months on the inside two, yeah. of the whale. <laughs> Who's Ow. even counting? Anyway, Panny, it's so great to see you. I assume you'll be leaving soon. Probably, probably got stuff to do. No, I want to have a talk with you first. Me. He, Did you he, steer this whale here? He reaches out and kind of pop, pop, taps, the, um, taps the whale, which then just kind of like slides what? back into the water. <laughs> it's nice that they've made friends. Aye, it's a two years is a long time to get to know a whale. I would We're say that was a pretty, pretty now. like quick goodbye for a two year companionship. If I was inside something for two <laughs> years, I think and like, God like, willing, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I think a longer goodbye would be in order. I'm getting back in the whale later. Okay. All oh, right. So we did you a favor, really. It's got a little studio flat in. There. Well, <laughs> no, down I bed. mean it's the tongue. I, you, made, you made it homely, did you? He shoulder barged me into the ocean. I got swallowed by a whale. Yeah, and I hilarious. lost my ship and my freedom. I wouldn't say you did me a favor. But well, you're I, getting back in the whale. Now, now, Panny is. Well, yes, I've ship. been institutionalized. <laughs> Actually, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I live on the outside. Of a whale. Of a whale. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, milk toast. It's kill most now. Shh, whatever. <laughs> Two years is coming up. And I think we can all agree we're getting tired of this curse business. Yes, yeah, I've been tired of it forever. Right. I mean,. Probably not as hard as you. <laughs> How hard have you been working in the last two years? How many coins have you found? Some. <laughs> some coins. How many is some? Like, I'm almost there. Almost. How many coins are there? Eight. We found seven. That's tremendous news. Where are they? <sighs> Wouldn't you like to know? Tell yes. The on. That's literally why I'm here. <laughs> why I'm here. <laughs> I've, got, I've got them safe. Not here, not on the ship in case it sinks, because that happens a lot. Mm -hmm. I have them safe, locked away, no one's getting to them. Grand. Yeah, I'm collecting them. I've been working hard, been stealing everything. You should see how much stuff I've been stealing. Pretty good. Well, where's all the stuff you've been stealing? It's back in my... Don't... <laughs> it's secure in one place. Yeah. And we definitely know where that is. Yeah, I couldn't fathom. <laughs> <laughs> So if you collect all these coins, does that, that breaks the curse, right? I've got to put them back. Where? In the place I took them from. Where did you take them from? It's a cave. We oh. always call it, call it the curse hole. The curse hole. The curse hole. Put the coins yeah. in the curse, curse hole. Coins gotcha. in the curse hole. Yeah. I don't know where all of us the coins reservoir are. <laughs> I wink at everyone other than Tanius. moved on. <laughs> inspiration dump. <laughs> oh! Um, here, take Oh, this. an inspiration an coin! An inspiration, inspiration coin. coin. Great. Yeah, I really should have brought chocolate coins. So <laughs> you can eat, eat, eat your inspiration to feel inspired. <laughs> cool. Now um, I'll remember to spend it. Well, let's go round up that final coin then and break the curse. Ideally, yep. that would be Get that one last great. coin great. that we need. You're well, so much more reasonable than those other guys. They just try and kill me. You spend two years inside a humpback whale. You learn a lot about yourself and krill. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a taste for it now, I imagine. Aye. Actually, it's, it gets kind of samey. <laughs> Did it help you krill the time? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Right, anyway, it just so happens that uh, the whale accidentally swallowed a different person a few weeks back. Well, and we got to talking. <laughs> Roommates! <laughs> It'd be weird if you didn't talk. <laughs> I. Did you fall in love? No. Oh, why? <laughs> Were you just too different? I'm not really looking for a relationship right now. Were they? I don't know. <laughs> okay. No, because I'm not looking for a really... I feel very attacked. <laughs> anyway, we got talking. 
and he told me of an interesting man with whom he'd been doing business, a collector of oddities and curiosities, and apparently he really enjoys collecting rare coinage. God, that's quite the coincidence, isn't it? Serendipitous <laughs> thing, I. I mean, imagine if you'd not come to see. Yeah, and I mean, like, of all the people that could fall into a whale, which I assume on its own is quite a rare occurrence. I. Yeah. Stranger like... than fiction. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a pretty big secret to tell. It sounds like they were really opening up to you, so it sounds like maybe they were looking for companionship. I'm just saying. Okay, but uh, pity but... is not a good basis for a relationship now, is it? You're right. Right. You were so saying... wise, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I've got to write this down. <laughs> if you've been affected by any of the issues raised, <laughs> raised if, if you've been eaten by a whale. <laughs> So Are they still in the whale? Why didn't you let them come out and have a breath of fresh air? Oh no, they didn't like it inside the whale. How so they just <laughs> left? Wait, why didn't you leave? Is there an exit? <laughs> He's institutional. Oh, there's an exit institution. I. <laughs> <laughs> there are some parts I will not tread. <laughs> that being one of them. Okay. This man, this collector, his name is Victor Dietrich. Ooh. He lives cool on name. Germany. Um, no. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, Karzan, but he's the man who lives in the treasury. The treasury, you know, is like, it is a, a place of pirate legend. Um, you knew that there was a mysterious person who lived there with an incredible wealth of riches. And they basically live on this, this island on the sea, which is like part lighthouse, part mansion, part museum. Um, he never leaves. He never sort of allows people in. Except one night every five years, it is said that people will flock to the treasury and enjoy a soiree. Um, and only the finest of, of the fine people in Geth get invited. Oh my god. <laughs> so, but we don't know that. No. no. But, oh. <laughs> uh, Corazon straightens up and you hear like a chiching sound effect as his <laughs> eyes fill with doubloons. Treasury? <laughs> so Guys. boring. Oh, mm, the treasury is a huge, huge deal. It's like the biggest collection of riches, jewels, and furs, and paintings, like treasure, and statues, and yeah, treasure is a good word for it, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And no one's ever, no one's ever been except for every once every five years they have a party there, and if you can get an invite, you can get in. But no one's ever gone and just stolen everything for some reason because they're idiots. But if we could get an invite to this party, we could go and get the coin, which is probably there, and also like loads of other gold and riches and jewels and statues and what did he call it? Treasure? treasure. We get tre treasure. Yes. That a, but it sounds like that would. If there's a party every five years and and no one steals it, it sounds like there's some sort of code among honor among thieves. No, it doesn't sound right. If we steal it, will every criminal in Geth be like on our heels? I'm not saying that's that rules that out true. doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that sounds oh, no, 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 quite no. a lot like just our normal existence. Probably, so probably. that's why we're on a boat. <laughs> Probably, if we can get in, they'll tell us the rules when we get there, you know, just give us like the, the orientation tour, and then we'll just steal everything. Is there a dress code? I don't know. Minimum number of wolves? I'm just, I'm learning, I'm learning about the, I thought it was a, a legend. Okay. Apparently, it's a real thing. Corazon, you had me at guys. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think was the first word you said. Yeah, great. It's real, all right, Percy. And what's more, I know the way. Mm. Well, I don't. But Panniers 2 does. Panniers 2? Who the hell is Panniers 2? Is that the, the whale? whale? Yeah, I. Oh. 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 He didn't have a name when I met him, and I thought. You could only think of the name. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Was it like a say what you see kind of situation and you're in a whale? I. The only thing you could see was yourself. I. Right, good. And Krill. <laughs> <laughs> but then it made it difficult to talk to him uh, right. when it was also meal times. Because <laughs> he was never sure what I was on about. So let's climb aboard this whale yeah. and set sail. I mean, everyone cool with that? Party, you had me at party. Yeah. Can we lash the whale to the front of the ship and bring the ship along? He draws a cutlass. Oh, All right, no. friends are we? <laughs> okay, They're lashing the whale. Um, if Penny is, you can call me Corazon now, uh, not Percy, if you want. That's, oh, may that's, I? That's fine. You may. Or I mean, if that doesn't work, um, Captain Kilmos, little Steely. Little Steely. Little Steely. Highway to the Corazon. <laughs> Any of these working for you? <laughs> so, Captain Jack's swagger. I'll call you Little Steely. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> it's Lil. 
Yeah. Not with an with an apostrophe. Lil. Lil. <laughs> that Lil is very you. hard to do in my voice. <laughs> <laughs> it puts a great strain on the vocal cords. <laughs> Right. Do we have to get in the whale, is that, or can we ride on the back? There's not room for all of you. <laughs> okay. But there's room for some of us. Okay, all right, fine. All right, so we You this. can come inside the whale if you want. Don't touch my stuff. Uh, if it's cool with you guys, I would love to ride inside the whale. Okay, go for it, Dom. Why not? All right. right. I jumped down Phil, the blowhole. hole. Phil, you he, he leads you, sort of puts an arm around your, your shoulders, like, come on then, matey. Hey. And he leads you to the right rail, and he sort of stands there and um, opens his mouth and just sort of speaks fluent humpback. Just like, <laughs> and you hear this answering, <laughs> and the. the very good. <laughs> <laughs> I use uh, comprehend languages to understand humpback. Like, Dob, I think there is something going on between these two. Oh. They use, they're calling each other sweetie and honey. Time for Gooseberry Dob to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Third wheel Dob. Third wheel, is he? <laughs> um, the, he, the whale sort of appears at the surface and just kind of goes, ah. Oh. After you. Uh, I swan dive in down the throat. Yep, uh, it, it feels strange. Um, you, <laughs> you don't say. Uh, because the aperture of, of uh, a whale's throat is actually surprisingly small. Mm. For example, a sperm whale could not swallow a person because the aperture of their throat is about the uh, width of a bicep. So you could you could choke a whale to death probably mm. if you were feeling. This is good knowledge. If you were feeling brave. Maybe, yeah. Oh, on um, the way down, I flavour myself like krill and caramel, you, salted <laughs> caramel krill. You hear like. A hook. The, the walls <laughs> reverberate against your skin as you hear the whale, whale go, mm. yeah. <laughs> um, and then there's a second like, uh, and Pai is like, keep going, we're nearly there. Um, and then you emerge into the cavernous stomach of a whale, um, where there is uh, like a, a small, it's almost like an ornate pond full of bile. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's some krill in there, and there's a hammock strung up between uh, two ribs. Cool. What's the light source? Is it coming through the blowhole? <laughs> Please say yes. Yes. <laughs> it's like a spotlight. Make yourself at home. Thanks, Panniers. So are we going to sail after those guys that yeah. way? Yeah, right? we, have to we follow just follow. It. Okay. Yeah. Well, now that guy's gone, mm -hmm. what's his deal? He's cursed, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, he he, he uh, took over captaining after. Okay, okay. The but incident. he's cursed to be in a whale, whereas the other guys are cursed to. No, be... No, we put him in the whale. So what's what's the nature of his curse? What's the manifestation? Keeps, do you not remember he's the last alive. time these pirates attacked us? No, I do. But like, he's alive. He just what? They well, I mean, I assume he died when he got kicked into the whale and sure. got eaten. But then oh, they come back alive. They, yeah. come, they resurrect. Oh, I see. And they yeah, they're, unde him. they're undead pirates. So when do you want to kill him again? Well, ideally, I wouldn't Once have we to. Get there. Ideally, I wouldn't have to kill him again. We could lift this curse, and then they could all just go about being pirates again and stop bothering me and try I, to kill me. Though I poke my head out the blowhole. <laughs> Corazon. Yeah, what? Do we actually have seven of those eight coins? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we okay, do. So we actually only need to find one. Yeah. Foomp. I've been working really hard these past two years when I'm not on these dumb adventures with you. Cool. <laughs> so taking care of business. Yeah, taking actually care of business. Stuff done. Yeah, following uh, my character motivations in a way that makes sense. All right. <laughs> well, have fun with that. And I've got I my head my in the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. So we actually I do, do just I do just need one. So this is actually really important to me. Okay. So and then when we kill Panyas, finally, we, we don't have to he'll kill... be dead forever. I mean, if we were to kill him after the curse has been lifted, he would be dead forever. Yeah. But we don't have to do that. I assumed if we lifted the curse, they all just died, and it was the re sweet release of death. Won't Corazon die too? Will he turn into a skeleton? I wasn't Hopefully. cursed. All oh, right. Okay. Funk. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever asked me about my backstory. <laughs> so interesting. So rich in narrative layers. <laughs> so not stolen from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. P Panias is sat there, he's like, sorry, the acoustics in a whale are a little strange, as you'll have noticed. Yes. You weren't just discussing killing me, were you? Uh, I wasn't. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. And he goes, not boom, technically boom, alive. The whale. He, he hammers on a rib twice, like, doom, doom. Um, and, uh, yeah. The, the, <laughs> the <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> That happens, uh, and the, it's a very strange sensation. You're like, I'm definitely moving, and I'm also inside a whale. Uh, Follow that whale! The whale starts to sort of to, to swim right. off. I um, pull on the rope that angles the sail, and then I pull on the other rope that makes the sail come down, and then I Can turn, you know how to do turn, a turn the sail, <laughs> find where the wind is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, fortunately, Cor Corazon, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> wait, 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 I got this. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Left a bit. Yeah. Left oh, a bit the anchor still. Egbert, can you pull up the anchor? Okay, I go and pull up the anchor. Unfortunately, right. the wind isn't blowing where we need to go, so we'll have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> can someone be steering it on the steering wheel? Oh, I've so, got it. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Follow that whale. Does anyone have any wind Steer spells or anything? The whale. <laughs> Wind spells? Yeah. No. That must, what? What is the use of any of you bloody wizards? <laughs> you don't even have a wind spell. <laughs> that sounds like a druid thing. What have you got? Nah. Thunderwave nah. could probably do it, but I'm in the whale, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so fine. We'll just sail like we'll just normal people normal, sail. Just see if we can get a little speed boost. What's the speed of a whale? Okay. Pretty fast. Like a million miles an hour. All right. Well, we ma try and match speeds with the whale. Match speed with the whale. It. Okay. Right. Yeah, Ooh, it's, not, okay. it's not too difficult. You travel um, for like the better part of a day, to the point where you're like, this, surely Panniers and Panniers 2 are mistaken. There's no way anyone actually lives all this way hmm. out here. And then, sure enough, as it starts as a speck on the horizon, and then over the following sort of two hours it grows until you realize there is a building there. And kind of as, uh, as I said before, it's, it's part lighthouse, part mansion. It's huge and opulent, and it's got lots of like, it's lots of uplighters. It's kind of, think Rapture crossed with maybe like the Clockwork Mansion from the side. Ah, <gasps> oh, wow, um, sweet. And the whale sort of comes to a halt uh, and sort of jumps up and down a couple of times, breaches and, and, and rolls uh, to sort of try and get your attention. Crikey. Um, You're right in there, Dom. <laughs> so make me a dex... That bile pond has just gone Maybe everywhere. a dex saving throw. <laughs> 15 plus, uh, well, plus... De what was it, Dex? <laughs> Dex, this is a Dex saving throw. So okay, so Dex modifier. that's like 26. Okay, uh, you are not covered in krill or bile, Good. unless you personally elect to, because generally, <laughs> Dob. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just checking, just checking. Panius uh, rides, like, rides it out, and he's sort of cackling when the whale is breaching and stuff. Like He lives for this stuff. He's like, it's great being in a whale. <laughs> <laughs> Those two are so into each other. <laughs> <laughs> saying. I quite agree, Panius. And thank you for letting me uh, ride inside Panius too with you. That's all right. Have you been keeping in touch with the old crew at all? Um, only by way of the, um, the constant painful link I have with them. Uh, the sure. curse, you know. Sure, sure. Um, how much ill will do you bear Corazon? I mean... Just between us. Surprisingly little, given that I was punted into a whale <laughs> the last time we saw But it brought you and Panias two together. It did. And again, I can't stress this enough, I've had so much time to think <laughs> about <laughs> over the last two years. And I've concluded that actually, uh, you know... I tried to kill him. He put me in a whale. We're both just tired of this business, I think. Uh, and he's not that bad. It's easier not to he's fight a nice him. Nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In a way, Coruscant's a hero. I think you guys <laughs> could be. I think you guys could be really good friends. I don't think friends is really. In, uh, we can go that far, but I'm willing to trust him. And I just want to lift this bleeding curse. Okay. I assume well, this conversation is happening as the whale is going ballistic <laughs> around. <it. laughs> yeah, which it shouted at each other. Yeah. And, um, we should just rib. be friends. <laughs> I, I give you my word. As long as nobody tries to harm this whale, I will do no harm to them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to Corazon. Um, and he goes and stands under the blowhole and sort of grabs hold of the edges and he goes. Ready! And just goes vroom! <laughs> shot out the top like <laughs> um, There is a splash as uh, Panias lands in the water next to you. Sort of climbs up the side of the ship and goes like <laughs> Bracing. Anyway. <laughs> um, you can follow if you, if you yes, wish. Yes please, I want to do that yeah, also. You, you get fired out of, out of a whale. Whee! Like a champagne cork. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like... Cartwheels. Yeah! <laughs> I don't do any fancy flips, I just starfish out in midair <laughs> and belly flop down. It's, that yeah. sounds painful. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you kill a passing shark. <laughs> <laughs>
dog. <laughs> That's going to attract a lot more sharks. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably. You kind of, for a moment, you look out the side of the ship and you're like, when did dog get a pool float? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, so there's you a, guys, there's a feeding frenzy. Let <laughs> <laughs> see his roiling, roiling mass of yeah. You return to the uh. ship at haste, at speed, rather. Uh, Panny is sort of uh, has encouraged everyone to come to the rail, and he gets out a spyglass and starts passing it around. Take a look. That is the treasury. Um, you can see that there are ships already sort of starting to drift in toward it. And it seems to have, a, like, it's a big old tower, but it also seems to have a large sort of dock around it. Um, it's kind of like a private island, really, where some ships are coming in. Um, could somebody make me a wisdom perception check, please? So it's a pirate party? No, it's not, it's not, mm. it's not Nine, a pirate party. 19. 19, lovely. Okay. Um, yeah. All yours. 22. Nice. nice. Um, Okay, Dob, you're like, ooh, a party. You just, you, I mean, you're probably still just buzzed off the fact that you were just launched out of a whale. Um, Marilwen and Corazon, you both realise that these ships are taking a very weird route in. Like, none of them is going straight at the island. They're kind of snaking mm. around and through and taking the same path, you notice. You sort of watch it for a little while and one <coughs> ship kind of takes these wending turns, as does another. Mm. What's, what's Guys, I think, I think there's some sort of trap yeah. situation going on here. There seems to be a safe route, like yeah, a shallow, maze. is it a reef, a shoal, treasury, yes, mines. possibly mines, <laughs> possibly a reef shoal, <laughs> possibly, <laughs> possibly sharks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sharks move um, though. Yeah, very tightly organised sharks. Mm. Shark patrol. Yeah. Pan Panniers, saying... do, you know, uh, do you know anything about the def defences for the, for the treasury? No. You don't. But I mean, as a fellow, Seafaring man, mm. I would say there seems to be a safe route for these boats are following. What do you What do you think? I seems likely. Do you reckon we could watch it from here and kind of sketch it out, figure out the way that we could go? I mean, we could do, or we could, you know, ask the fish. Use someone who could uh, see underwater and swim underwater a lot, and like yes, little mermaid. Yeah, but where would we find someone like that? <laughs> I turn into a sure. <laughs> sure notice. That's never not disturbing to me. That's yep. There we go. Gus. <laughs> you just live too. You live inside a whale. whale. Paddy is. Shut up, Paddy. Is. And what's wrong with that? People I in ask. glass whales shouldn't throw stones. <laughs> Whose fault is it? I'm in a whale. Look, we're not doing this now. All right, fine. We're so close. Merylwen, or um, sorry, Octowen. What if you sort of like squid your way? like through the water, attach onto a boat that's going in and just sort of like stick to the keel and just get a good look at or what's re under the... Or release ink, ink as, a and as a trail that we could follow. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's, that's an excellent idea. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I love, yeah, that's cool. Let's do that. How yeah. much yeah. ink do you have in your sacks? Gallons. <laughs> gallons <laughs> gallons stuff. and you gallons. You have inspiration for that because that was... <laughs> Thank you. A good plan. Uh, should, do you need to, to drink some fluids before you go? <laughs> Stay hydrated. Yeah. Uh, she's going in the sea. You can drink that. Drink salt water, why not? That's <laughs> fine. A, a meaningful look from an octopus doesn't look super meaningful. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite, it's still quite a way, you're still quite a ways out, so. Um, All right, can we sail in a bit closer, but yeah, stay, try and keep our distance so we don't get into the sort of zone yep, that seems sure. to be the. Okay, yeah, that's, that's not too difficult. You kind of, you pull up a, alongside, you know, where you, you pull up to sort of outside of what you think the zone sort of is. And uh, up to when it sort of slides into the water. Do you do me a strength athletics check to try and catch up with one of the, the ships? <laughs> 12, yeah. That's okay, no, 12 will do it. Yeah. Um, you sort of, it's it's quite a hard struggle. You're like, oh, I am a tired octopus. Um, but you manage to sort of latch on with like, cause you know how octopuses have like six tentacles, but two of them are technically arms. Right. Mm. Um, yes. You kind of just go that like before. that. It's a bit like in the ballad of uh, Terminator 2 when yes. he sort of yeah. hooks oh, up. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, One of my that. favorites. And uh, do you, do you start eking, <laughs> eking ink out? Great. <laughs> that was Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you start releasing ink. Um, everyone else, yeah, you kind of like, Follow you, that you ink see, trail. You see the trail. I've right. gone to my quarters to put my coat of 79 wolves and one dog on. Fantastic. Are oh, you party? getting dressed for the party yeah. already? <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Panniers <laughs> dismisses Panniers too. He's like, well, he doesn't dismiss him, obviously. Like, they, they part from each other. He's like, 
I'll see you later. Aww. Aww. And the whales come out and buck us off to find some krill. We'll get you back to that whale pen, you don't you worry. Don't you God damn worry. right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm going to... About this treasury. The, what, the, what about the, it? The person who runs it. What's yeah. their deal? Uh, well, that's the thing. They're Eyes very, on the road course. <laughs> they're, extreme, <laughs> they're extremely mysterious. They're called Victor Dietrich, but that's all anyone knows about them. Um, extremely mysterious. As no. you follow the ink trail, you start to enter into what is a very clearly defined channel. Well, it's not actually very clearly defined at all. If you didn't know to look um, and you didn't have an inky trail to follow, there's no way you would have made it through. Um, because you can sort of see all sorts of like shapes looming in the water. Mm. Um, you're not entirely sure what's like what it is. Uh, Merylwen, you have a very good view of this because you are in the water. It is, um, basically, it's an artificial structure absolutely laced with sea mines. So you can have inspiration because oh yes. you guessed right. You got it. Uh, and also with lots of sort of weird turning panels. Um, some of them reflective to catch the light and sort of send it back. Uh, so from above, it's really confusing. Like, you're not sure what's solid and what's not. Um, sometimes it looks like you're looking down to the ocean floor, sometimes it seems like something's darting across. Um, this is a weird, horrible, explosive mechanical maze. Um, and indeed, you see like several segments where obviously it's been blasted apart by a mine explosion and then put back together. Uh, and below that, sort of on the ocean floor, you see the, the wrecks of about a hundred ships. Ooh. Some of them clearly pirate pirate galleons, some of them seem like normal-ish craft. Worth um, looting. If we get the chance later. Alright, <laughs> alright Corazon. <laughs> okay, well we'll think... The money's we'll think already of... where I want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> alright, um, wow. Are you trying to dismantle capitalism <laughs> by putting all the money in all the ocean? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's like the opposite. How? Is it, well, no. How? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to do. Okay, Are you trying to raise fine. sea levels to a disastrous extent? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, Prudence, I haven't interrogated my motives. Your motivations are mysterious even to you. Yes. I love it. All right. Anyway. So I'm expertly sailing mm -hmm. through this. Nice. <laughs> you do make, I mean, do make me a, um, what would be an appropriate expertly skill for Expertly sailing. I said. Tokyo <laughs> drifting it to the chat. <laughs> we'll call this deck yeah, sleight yeah, of yeah, hand. Because yeah, yeah. she's a light touch on the tiller as the joyful damnation. Just don't biff it. Okay. That's a uh, 16 plus four. He is actually expertly sailing the ship. Mm. Did you know he was good at this? I always imagined he was terrible at it. Yeah, me too. I don't know what it was about his general demeanor that made me think he'd be bad at this. But yeah. yeah, you're starting to he see an that attitude. underneath the uh, the mouthy rogue that you sort of know and tolerate. Um, yeah. is an act it looks like something resembling an actual wow. pirate. I almost respect you right now. <laughs> Almost. What was that? Nothing. Sorry, I was, I was in the zone. Nothing Corazon. Okay. Just keep steering. The Corazon, I call it. Yeah. Right? I'm sailing. That was meant to be a concertina. I got it. I was attacking a squirrel. Squeezing the song out of the song. Is it a good time to wonder how we're going to get into this party? Because we don't, we're not invited. Have you seen this coat? They're not going to not let me in. So you're going to sidle up and say you're on the guest list? Yes. Okay. Can we have a little snoop onto the decks of some of the other boats that are coming into the channel and just see like what kind of people they are? Is it like dignitaries or are they pirates? It's the finest people of Geth. Yeah, but what does that mean? I don't know. Let me see if I can... What they look like? Let me see if I can see anyone with the old... Spy them. Give me a wisdom perception check. Would you roll me your constitution, please? Eight. You're like... You're still holding onto the ship, you're like, this is a brilliant plan, but you're like, kind of running out of, uh, not got loads of ink, ink left. supplies low. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Change the tone of card. <laughs> the That's so expensive. <laughs> the ink is so it's it's actually that cheaper is how to buy and you want to pay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, the ink is starting to turn sort of purple and then a weird turn. <laughs> 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 Quick, print the test page! <laughs> um, great, okay. Uh, we really need you a do notice, You do notice the ink trailer is starting to, to thin a little bit. Anyway, how did you roll on your... Uh, 12. 
12. Um, you are baffed. Like, some people look like they are coming to a very fancy ball, and so they're wearing all the finery you would expect. But then there are some people who are just very, very ordinary looking. In fact, there are some people who seem to be living in near poverty. There's sort of a very small fishing vessel that's like a tiny mast and one sail, and it's just like one dude who's just making his way out there. Well, someone's got to serve um, the canapes. <laughs> so. He's the help. <laughs> what um, do we think all these, all these guests have in common? Ships. He's right, he's not wrong. Yeah. Are they... What are the points of these parties as well? Like, you've got to, if we know why he has them, because in every other respect, this is a secret fortress. Yes. But once every five years, he invites a bunch of people there. Mm. Why? But why? But why? To show off the horde? That is the question that's at the very horde. heart of the situation. Mm. God, so. We may only get the answer by blundering in with no plan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Uh, Did you really find seven coins? <laughs> How, I, I, as incredible. far as you know, yes. <laughs> How do you get anything done? So I've got skills. <laughs> you get a lot more done when you don't make plans. Yeah. I'm getting a grant. So how do, how do we want to dress? What's, what should we pretend to be? What's the dress code? Maybe we don't need to pretend to be anything. Maybe maybe, maybe like we'll just, just love our whole deal and let us in. Maybe roaming adventurers is also like a viable way look. To We're just going to blag it. Well, I don't know. Bluff our way in. Worked well, last time. It, it works every time. Tends to work. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like going in completely blind. I'd like to know what these people have in common. Yeah. But my detect magic, for instance, is only 30 foot range. So I can't tell if it's a magical thing. What if we pretend that Prudence is a visiting dignitary and we Empress. are all... Empress. And we are all <laughs> your, like... I love it. And we are all your sort Surf. of ser servants. Yes. <laughs> we could carry you on a sedan chair. There's nothing I don't love about this plan. Maybe so Octawen yes. <laughs> Maybe Octawen's overheard some stuff as well. Like Have you? You can make me Wait. a wisdom perception check. Doing working so hard right now. Three. Oh, oh no. no! Oh, for me God's sake, Octawen. Two octopuses have ears. Wait, wait, wait. Plus wisdom, seven. You're, you're too busy squeezing out ink <laughs> uh, to hear anything. All you Story can hear is your own. <laughs> um because that's what an octopus sounds like. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to need another uh, deck sleight of hand check from you, because you're still navigating the maze. Oh, uh, I would like another constitution roll from, from you to make sure that you can... One! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, dear. oh no. Te ten plus four. Okay, cool. These old um, ships don't have propellers. So. You're, okay, there's, <laughs> there is a tight, there's sort of like a, a, a hard sort of like there's a medium right, um, and you sort of you navigate that turn. Uh, yeah, sort of yeah. To the back end sort of like drift, almost fish tails out. out. You sort of drift the yeah. ship round. Um, Pop it into a Scandinavian flick. And then as you're like, oh, this is so easy. Um, you're feeling really good about yourself. Meryl, when you are like, <laughs> and then you're like, you accidentally go like, Poof, and release a massive shock of ink. Oh. Um, uh oh. And so you're, you're kind of going along and you're like, ink trail, ink trail, ink trail. <laughs> Ah! There is just a massive patch of ink now, and you're like, Stop, stop, oh, whoa, stop! Whoa, 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 whoa! Brakes! Okay, sea uh, brakes! Egbert! Apply the sea brakes! Yes, <laughs> anchor, put the anchor down, I'm gonna raise the sail. I rush over in my coat and put the. <laughs> it was really cool. <laughs> it like billows out yeah. behind you. Uh, if the coat had any degree of sentience, it'd be like, wow, I remember what it is to run. Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, with the wind in there. Uh, yeah, you slam, oh, that's fine, you drop the anchor, and the ship sort of. Groans, really, because you were going at quite a clip. You kind of, mm. and you hear um, uh, from below decks, Panniers just like swearing. <laughs> You're a big covered thud. in grog. Yeah, he, yeah. He stumps his way up the up, up the gantry, and he's like, he's on the on the top deck. We're absolutely covered in grog. He's like, what the hell are you doing? It smells better than krill, mate. So. Really? We're doing you a favour You're again. You're choosing now <laughs> to further interrogate my choice to live in a whale. How <laughs> is the squid biffed it. <laughs> Was it? The ink all came out at once and now we don't know the way. How, um, how far, how like, what percentage of the journey in do you think? You're most of the way there. All you right, reckon, so I like our odds. You reckon one lucky guess and you'll be Okay, you'll am be I there. able to have a look around and maybe... Yeah, maybe with some you can do this at a disadvantage because Cause <laughs> ink everywhere. <laughs> as long as you can climb back aboard, Merowen, and describe where we should go in perfect nautical terminology. Okay, seven. Sounds 18. unlikely. Seventeen. Oh, seven. Okay, roll, again. roll again. 
Is that, is that wisdom section again? Mm -hmm. uh, of 16. Okay, great. Yeah, you're like, it's going to be... I'm pretty sure it's that way. Might be tight. Let's give it a go. Swim I mean, for it. We, Swim for it. Uh, we could take a rowboat. It'd be smaller and more nimble. We'd get more blown up if we hit a mine. That's true. I, yeah, but will a, would a rowboat really be at the depth to hit a sea mine? Seems unlikely, right? Because yeah. otherwise they'd be visible at the surface if they were that close to the we'll just That wait, makes sense. We'll wait until a big wave comes, so we're higher up, and then go at the same <laughs> speed as the wave. <laughs> could, fire, could fire a set of cannons. Yes. <laughs> and then we would I avoid could, this entire situation. I go to the surface and I kind of like have my little tentacles up. Oh, we could follow, we could follow up to it. Leave the leave oh. with the tentacles. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, fine, I, we'll follow up to it. Just, just, just. <laughs> I put out the match I'd lit. <laughs> <laughs> I climb out of the end of the cliff. <laughs> you're, you're, you're still very sooty. Like, like from the, the neck downward, you're just covered in grime. I clean myself <laughs> yeah, okay. Um Make me one more deck sleight of hands check. Go on. Just don't mm. whiff it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is, wait, no, uh, seven. Mildly biffed it. Moderate a, biffing. A faint biffing. It is, <laughs> it is a mild biff. Uh, you're sort of, you know, steering away, and then you do feel sort of a snag uh. as the ship catches on the corner of something. Uh -oh. You still in the water? You are. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so basically there is quite a sharp turn, mm -hmm. um, and if anything, you've taken it too shallowly. So there's like a, just a big metal spike that sort of rakes <sighs> along the side. Uh. Um, and you hear a seam go downstairs, like I rush oh. below decks and cast Mending on the affected beam. Oh, very good. It, could, uh, it should, it's, it could just be one object if it's a parallel sort of down there. It's basically, yeah, it's like the pressure is, has like formed, forced two planks to kind of bow. Yeah. And so water's rushing mm. in through. I rush down with a hot thing of pitch mm -hmm. and Mending, <laughs> pump, it in, pump it into the seams. <laughs> Yeah, it's sounds good to me. Okay. Nice one. Oh. It, basically, nice one, Dob. Like Panias watches, like in in awe as it seems like you run down with a bucket of pitch and just punch the ship better. <laughs> yeah. It's like bam, the ship's fine. Yep, that's right, Panias. What do you think of me now? Do you want me to punch you better, Panias? Because I can and will. The last time you hit me, you knocked me into the mouth of a whale. But I could do it healing wise. <laughs> <laughs> could knock you into the mouth yeah. of good health. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I knocked you into the mouth of your lifelong companion. So everything I hit is could, happy. Again, could everybody stop taking credit for the fact that <laughs> I acclimatise? <laughs> <laughs> okay, important thing is somewhere like through. Okay, all right, I'm up on bed deck again. Did we make it through the channel? Seemingly. Yes, you Great. made it through. Ooh. Hooray! We still don't know what you were avoiding. No, I suppose we figured it out by yeah, now. Yeah, sea mines. Well, yeah, but we didn't see them. We didn't, we didn't see, see mines. mines. <laughs> <laughs> What's the opposite uh, of inspiration? <laughs> giving my inspiration back. <laughs> 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 no, it's mine. Oh, heavens. Okay. <laughs> um, you, you, you see a man uh, sort of holding two flaming torches kind of waving and he starts to guide you toward a berth. That's one of those poi, um, poi jugglers. Uh, he's, All the he's jugg been he is juggling while gesticulating <laughs> where you need to wow. be. Real fancy party guys. He, he guides you to a jetty where you can uh, like moor up basically. Yeah. Cool. Mm. What kind of party is this where we have to park our own Yeah, ship? no valet. Yeah. No valet. Unbelievable. <laughs> valet captain. I take my coat off and put it back in Jump storage. <laughs> Well, well, if they're not going to park that yeah. ship for me, they're not going to get my... Why am I dressing up? Finest. <laughs> Fine. Basically, everyone has the same sort of uh, uniform, uh, where it is a very kind of like rich, dark blue cloth, very well tailored. Um, the tailoring actually varies from person to person. It seems like everyone has basically had a bespoke suit made for themselves out of this, this material. Yeah. And the everyone, staff, that is. Yeah, the staff, right, sorry. Right, they right. all walk with, you know, with great poise and, you know... Mm -hmm. um, poise. Mm -hmm. Uh, and boys. <laughs> <laughs> I have um, two ideas. <laughs> okay. Idea one. Let's go with Let's the first hear it. one. Murder the staff. Yes. Take their clothes. Okay, what's the second? <laughs> <laughs> Murder some party guests. Oh my god. Take their clothes. <laughs> We've already got clothes. Yeah, but this way we can pose as party guests and steal their invites. We can invites. pose as party guests <laughs> in can... our own clothes. All right. I like we don't even know that they have invites. We don't know why I anyone just is here. We'll murder someone. Well, okay. we'll let you murder someone later. <laughs> what if Fine. We, we have murder at home. <laughs> what? It, uh, <laughs> murder at home is like unconsciousness. <laughs> <laughs> but we could knock out some stuff. 
My only concern is that if, if everyone's clothes look super tailored, we would really stand out in our sort of ill-fitting stolen garb. Mm. Unless someone can like... Take it in a bit. Unless there happen yeah. to be yeah. five I mean, staff members with similar builds to are us. There? <laughs> 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 are there? Are there? Are there? <laughs> is there a half? Is there a half? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, mm, yeah, you look around you're like, yeah, it's probably worth a go. It's not going to be perfect, but if you decide you are going to take staff uniforms, then... Well, well, be party right. How do we know this is one of those rich people parties where they like eat the staff? Hunt the staff. Yeah, hunt the staff. Them. Oh yeah, those parties. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been to them. Oh, we could. Uh, this is backstory for you. <laughs> is this what you're atoning for? Yeah, well, I, used, I used to be rich. I used to be in my society. We never hunted at the staff. <laughs> we could uh, we could split the party if a couple of us want to sort of like go in as go in as staff. And what a couple are you even suggesting? Mm, split the, the party. Maniac. All right, I I I've, I've nominate been... myself as not staff. What? <laughs> Why don't we figure From out? Empress to Cal- yeah. <laughs> Cal- Real Cal- downgrade. Server. Can we just eavesdrop a bit on oh, the process okay. of people talking to the staff and being instructed to head to the party? <laughs> if there is an invitation <laughs> situation, right. or Let's Bruce drop is her garage. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why do I even bring this? Who is going to? Because it's ta- it does take a while to tie up a galleon and and mm. you know shore it up. Um, and you've not even started yet. You've just sort of been standing <laughs> around. Yeah. All right. Someone um, go be sneaky. So yeah, somebody wants to. Okay. Go I mean, stealth I can stealth. Up, up there, okay, stealthily right. Make me a dex stealth check. So they're 19 plus 4 uh, plus 2. Wow, whisper quiet. Um, like, again, you find yourself thinking, like, where has this side of Coruscant been before? Like, he's so capable. He's, he's doing cool stuff that's actually pertinent to him. Maybe, so, like, maybe the wow. difference now is it's something that he really wants. Um, Whereas sometimes it was like... He was phoning it in. Sometimes yeah. it was like whatever Meryl Wen was up to. <laughs> there, is, <laughs> there is a definite intensity in uh, to Corazon right now, and you can see it in the glint of his eyes and the set of his shoulders as he prowls along the dock. And... Uh, Ripcord muscles. He, it spoil, it, he spoils it slightly when he basically does sort of a forward roll and then an elegant swan dive into a barrel. Uh, oh. and, and he kind of like, mm. come, like pops back up. Man. And you see him hiding in a barrel. Mm. As you see somebody approach uh, another vessel that is just tied up, um, it's actually it's the fisherman uh, in his single mast little poor piddly boat. Um, and the man walks up and says, "Welcome, welcome. I trust the journey wasn't too uh, too difficult." And the seaman's like, oh, no, "No, it was fine." He goes, ah, uh, may, I, may I have your sea chart, please? Only I need to destroy it. Obviously, I mean, the route will change tomorrow anyway, so it's really redundant, but we, uh, we'd rather people not have any idea of what sort of bends we can put in the whole thing, you know? And he goes, oh, yeah, dive from no, that's fine. And he pulls out this, this um, um, a map and hands it over. And the dude, without really looking at it, he just sort of tears it up. Uh, and puts it in a satchel that is at his side, is already like quite full of uh, of these these scrolls. And he goes, "Wonderful. Well, if you just proceed inside, um, you'll find food, drinks, entertainment, uh, of course." And uh, Mr. Dietrich, uh, he's, he's, he always does his best to speak to every attendant, uh, and so I trust he shall he shall he shall have a word with you, and you shall meet him. But uh, other than that, just enjoy the exhibits and enjoy yourself. And he goes, "Oh yeah, yeah, all right." Blah, blah, blah. And he sort of scuttles in. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna sneak back to the rest of them, do a backwards handspring out of the barrel, and then uh, backwards roll my way all the way back. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like someone a, rewinding some film. Just yeah. Maybe a dex acrobatics check. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah, you don't actually you don't hurt yourself or anything. <laughs> like it's, it's actually it's pretty cool. Um, this is unbelievable. Carson gets back on the ship and it's like. Hmm? What where where was this during Miss Mime? What was Miss Mime? Was that? That's my Citadel. Where was this level of proficiency? I'm pretty sure I'd remember going to a Citadel. <laughs> it was an Egbert thing. Yeah, one of those Egbert <sighs> things that sometimes happens. Um, <laughs> guys, so there isn't an invitation situation, as far as I can tell. Okay. Um, they do. They did want to destroy the guy's sea chart, but I mean, I've got tons of sea charts downstairs. We could just—he didn't look at it. We could just give him a random sea chart, or. Uh, destroy, like tear one up, and then when he's like, "Can I have your sea chart?" Be like, "Oh, we already tore already it up. done it, mate." You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You're welcome. What else? What else you hear? Um, I mean, the the guy, the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tiny is Tiny is on her well. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, viewed. 
into a krill. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the guy who is running the, the party, he, he talks to everyone at the party. It doesn't, it seems like he just invites people at random and we could totally go in as ourselves without having to murder anyone. All right, cool. I feel like there's exhibitions there, probably the mm. coin is among them. So you feel like everyone who's made it here it's assumed that you were invited here because you've had the sea chart or what have you. Yeah, I think we go up there, we okay. talk to the guy, and if he has a problem with us, then we can kill him. But I feel like we don't have to kill him unless it's necessary. Okay. Fine. Sounds cool. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And these All exhibitions, right. ex exhibits. Exhibits. We don't know what those are. Uh, well, I mean, it's the it's the treasury. It's the everything fabulous and of worth throughout history, probably. Okay. Do you think they'd invite an octopus? I mean, she could not be an octopus. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just gotta check before we all march up and yeah. we are followed by a Scott. <laughs> I'm gonna not be an octopus. I've just been helping tie up the ship and stuff. Okay. There's an nice. octopus like underneath and just okay. like tentacles. The staff up. are like really wide eyed and they are just <laughs> really focusing on their task, trying not to show any sign that they have acknowledged uh, that an octopus is helping them tie up a galleon. All right, I'm gonna um, go hey, to. Guys, <laughs> Oh, hey. hey. Good, hello. Good back. to see you. Thanks for coming out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, go down to the captain's cabin, go through my charts and find something that looks kind of similar to what the, the guy had before. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon tear it up beforehand? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. We'll give it a tear in species. Yep. Um, and then uh, I guess as a group, we're all going to go and approach the, uh, the staff member. Yeah. Cool. He sort of waits. Uh, he's waiting by the side, waiting for you to drop a gangplank and come down, basically. Cool. Hey. So we're here for the uh, for the party. Uh, yes, uh, assumedly so. You're here alive. Yes, you're well, indeed. <laughs> Thanks to the sea chart. Yes, yes. Speaking of, uh, may I have it, please, to, uh, in order to destroy it? Yes. I mean, we already did destroy it. Here you go. Oh. So, thoughts? I mean, I thought you wouldn't want to have it in one piece. What if it fell into the wrong hands? I mean, you're not just carrying all those pieces on your person, are you? Someone could assemble. Someone could someone could kill you and take those sea charts and put them back together. Let's not tell this gentleman how to do his job. Well, okay, but um, um, we just we just thought we were trying to you know make things easier for you. Make, both of you make me a charisma persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seventeen. Fifteen. Oh, oh, crikey! I didn't think about that. I was I was told to collect them and oh no, I. T should I have been destroying them as I went? Oh, Don't even um, worry about it. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying, it's, it's something worth thinking about, you know? Just no, yes, I, I'm going to destroy Because you look pretty easily knockable outable, I'm just saying. <laughs> he, for a second, he, he startles. He's like, it's oh, not going to hurt, no, hurt him. Not us, of course, but, you know, this kind of party, you could you don't know what kind of rogues it could attract. It attracts rum sorts. Rum sorts. Panniers choose is a really poor moment to go, <laughs> and spit in the sea. And he's like, huh? Yeah. This guy. As an example of the, he's, Doing an example of a rum sort. A He's not like that. Rum sort. But well, he was rum sorting it up there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I trust Mr. Dietrich uh, knows precisely uh, who's worthy of an invite. So yes. I'm not well. judging, but I am going to go destroy these charts right now. Yes, I yes. think you better ought to. Thank you so much. Um, uh, you'll find uh, entertaining foods. Entertaining and, foods. Uh, <laughs> drink exhibits. Uh, <laughs> um, Miss, Miss, Mr. Mr. Dietrich, he's, he wants a word with you. Uh, uh, no, I'm. Uh, Are you okay? Is your it's is your boss a, mean? It's quite a high stress job. Oh no, no, no. He he's seems a, very, very alarmed and worried. He's a wonderful, kind man. It's okay. just a, I love this job. It's the, the best place I've ever worked. Even right. though it it's, does get really horribly lonely. Sometimes I feel like I'm just trapped inside this giant edifice. And, um, like you hear a sniffle, like Panny's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, no, I. Let I, it happen. I love it. I'm so, I'm so excited you're here. I, I want you to come and enjoy the place I, I, I call home. Okay. And you, you wanted to murder him, Prudence. <laughs> honestly, dude. We have jokes. We, yeah. It's a joke, running joke. Wait, <laughs> wait by the ship later, and if you want a life of freedom and adventure, then you could work aboard our ship. We're always hiring. He likes it he here. He says he likes it here. I'm just I'm giving you an option. If nothing else, you could take it back to your employer and uh, uh, you know, just negotiate a better deal. Maybe another charisma. <laughs> oh god. We could have just gone into the party. <laughs> yeah, we could have. Or we could have seen my eight. <laughs> oh no. Oh, um, I'm pretty well cared for him, and he's not really much of an object. But... Great. Well, we've got to be going. Okay. 
Cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he, he scuttles off with his satchel, holding it to his chest very tightly, really taking the security, possible security breach very, very seriously. What awaits our heroes inside the treasury? Who is the mysterious Mr. Dietrich? And what's going on between panniers and that whale? Find out next week in episode two over on Outside Extra. Subscribe now so you never miss an episode.